Actually guys, 2 years in engineering. Mahirap talaga siya. And bobong bobo na ako. Alam mo ba? Hey guys, it's so early in the morning because uh, it's 5.15 a.m. 5.21 actually. And I'm already up. Actually, nagsinong kayo ng 4 pero I don't feel like getting up. This is your boy, LMCK Rank Up Number 1! first tip ko habang simulan natin ngayon first tip ko sa engineering is that know your best time to study ngayon kasi I've learned in my 3 years almost 3 years of journey na sleep is as important as studying kasi ang hirap din magigising ka syempre nagpuyat ka na nag-aral ka tapos nagising ka na next morning sakit ang ulo mo ako lang sa tulog so you still can't focus on the test or something so yeah so that's the first tip anyway I'll be studying something method of joints so, medyo connected siya sa statics so, we'll have, be having exam chapter 7 so ayun nagsolve naman ako kahapon ng slides slides kasi tinamad talaga ako kagabi so ay dapat di ka tinatamad pero ay yeah. so sabi ko gini na lang maag plus at least I have my 7 hours of sleep my Davis notebook here Davis notebook dyan ko na lang yung mga activity ko sa org kasi I am also the interim president of the PISBU. Tapos, engineering tips. You need two calculators. Actually, three calculator ko dati. Tapos, mali-mali yung sagot niya. Or, like, hindi ko marunong gumamit. And then, so, I got the, ito. Marami ko magamit ito. Casio FX57ES+. Kaso, ba na siya sa board exam. So, what up? Actually, kanina, may mga nagawa din ako. So, early in the morning. As an ARG president, nag-check ako ng email ng ARG namin, email ko, just in case na important yung ganap, tapos na kami mag-email ko. Dito actually, it is ang uh, gustong gustong subject. Wow! Gustong gusto, madam, baka naman. Diba, makita ito ng mga profile. So yes, nag-aaral po talaga ako ng 5 a.m. Ngayon tayo mga refresh lang, since yung exam ko 1, tapos magpasok ko ng 9. So, I have 4-3 hours na mag-aaral. 3 hours later. Thousands of tears later. Actually guys, 2 years in engineering. Mahirap talaga siya. And bobong bobo na ako. Alam mo ba yun? Alam mo yun? Yung parang kada, kada test nila ay paparamdam niya sa'yo na you're not good enough na. You're, you did not studied enough. Yeah, this is basically engineering. Pero ang fulfilling kapag nakakatama ng sagot, kapag hindi ka zero sa test, pag nakapasa ka somehow, may miracle, ganun. Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Thousands of tears later. Hey guys, we're back and it's already 8.45. I'm waiting for my 9 a.m. class for civil engineering ethics. At masyadong maingay yung mga hasakyan. So para dito masyadong mag-rant ngayon sa video na to. Let's answer some questions kasi nag-post ako sa IG story ko. So gusto ko na yung tanong ni Balintong. Balintong. Have you ever thought of shifting to another course? Yes. First year, first sem. Kasi, ang gusto ko sana nun something na walang math. Diba ironic from engineer na puro math? Gusto ko bilang mag-shift sa walang math. Pero hindi ako nag-pursue kasi kinaya ko pala naman. I mean, first week kasi, yung nag-push, nag, parang nag, nag-urge sa akin na mag-shift this. Hindi to inspiring video guys. So, hindi ka ma-inspire. Ang hirap talaga. Like to the point na first week ko, wala talaga akong maintindihan. Or, ang ingay ng mga sasakayan. Wala akong maintindihan kasi wala talaga akong alam sa trigo. 
Kasi, I never really studied Trigo before. Kasi nanistem ako. So, 3-12 namin, wala na kayong mat. Tapos, first week, umuwi ako ng bahay namin to the point na nasa van ako pa uwi. Commute. May hawak ako mga trigonometric identities na like, nakakahiya. Gusto mo, well, gusto mo na mag-breakdown sa sasakyan kasi yung mga classmates ko, ang dami na nilang tanong sa prof, like they really understood the topic and I was like, okay, you understood, I did not, let me pretend I don't exist in this classroom. Ganon, to the point na, ala, ayoko na. Pero, sabi ko kasi nun, gusto ko din naman talaga maging engineer, yung civil engineer. So yes, I did study and hindi ako nag, ano, nag-shift. But don't get me wrong. I really admire those people na matapang, na brave enough to shift ng one course to another. Kasi, alam nila yung gusto nila. Like for example, ako, kung ayaw ko ng engineering, di mag-shift ako sa totoong gusto ko. Doon tayo sa, kung ano talaga yung gusto natin. Pero kung gusto mo naman talaga ng civil engineering, mahirapan ka, pero you still gotta pursue it. Kasi, I'm telling you, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna be an easy journey. It's not gonna be a smooth road. Wow, inspiring. Kasi sobrang hirap talaga niya. I'm telling you guys, this is based on my experience as a bobo, fri- bobo friendly advice lang. Hindi siya madali. It will never be easy, lalo na pag wala ka talagang alam or hindi mo talaga siya gusto. Kasi pag gusto mo, gusto mo matutunan, kaya naman, pero it takes time. Kasi iba-iba tayo ng pacing eh. Ay, yun, ang haba na pinuntahan ko pag shift lang yung tanong. Tanong ni Francis Nueca. Ano po ang sagot sa 1 and 8 sa highway engineering? Nagpasa din ako nung Monday ng walang sagot sa number 1 and 8. Kung gusto nyo, ayan, kung may engineer ba nanonood or gusto nyo mag-solve, I'll probably put the question here or para post nyo, tapos solve nyo, tapos send nyo sa iyo sagot because di ko talaga siya nakuha. Nakuha ko yung ibang number pero yung 1 and 8 talaga hindi. Ingay ng mga sasakyan. <laughs> hey guys! So, Ayan, we're back and I'm on my second subject today kasi unfortunately wala pala kaming first subject kanina and yes, walang ethics kasi may pinapagawa na si sir wala kaming synchronous learning which is good para tipin sa internet and yeah, I'm attending right now my second class of the day which is highway and railroad engineering yung subject na to, natitake to third year sa curriculum namin and yes, it deals with highways you know, a little longer than a few minutes later kahit kung mapapansin nyo pala sa table ko is meron akong tray na itlog. Ayan. Tcharam! Kasi, pag uminit yung laptop mo na super tagal mo na ginagamit, is parang pinapalamoy niya. Actually, okay naman kasi may nitro sense naman yung laptop ko. So, may fun. Pero like, gusto ko lang. Pas elevated din lang siya ng konti. And that's cheap because I hate spending money. So, I'll just get this one. So, lalagyan talaga namin siya ng tray na itlog dyan sa kitchen. Yes. So, ayan. So, I'll be back on my class and see you later. Actually guys, 3 years in engineering. Mahirap talaga siya. Hi guys! Welcome back and it's already 11.30. Ay, actually 12.30 na. So, 12.39, I already ate my lunch. Ayun, solo ako nag-lunch kasi nga, 12 o'clock yung tapos ng pasok ko and alam nga naman hantayin ako ng pamilya ko para kumain. Anyway, so bago tayo mag-exam ng 1 PM, let's answer JD's question. So, si JD is one of my batchmates and orgmates ko rin siya. And may YouTube channel siya guys. You should, yeah, you should subscribe to JD's YouTube channel. Ililink ko siya sa baba. Ang ganda ng mga aesthetic niya guys. Anyway, ito yung tanong ni JD. How can you manage your time given na napakaraming pinapagawa sa atin and consistent mo pa rin mag-up? Ang ingay ng sasakyan sa labas. Ayan. So, yes, consistent. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible to upload my videos every Friday. So, ayun, I've, I still find time because I have, like, my list ako ng to-do ko. So, ito yun. Okay, ito. Na napahalaking whiteboard. So, that's my to-fucking-do list. So, ano, nililista ko talaga yung mga gagawin ko this week. Kasi I'm trying to be or hindi ako organized sa tao eh pero I'm trying to accomplish as much as possible. Siguro yun yung nakuha ko from my senior high school or junior high school kasi I've been juggling orgs, scouting and ahads dati. So ayun siguro yun yung nakuha ko lang nung senior high na 
gusto ko productive ako, gusto ko na ginagawa ako kasi Let's talk about online class Actually guys, ang hirap na ng engineering nga face to face Ang hirap na niya, ang hirap na ng tunay ng math niya Complicated kasi talaga Or baka bobo lang ako But I can't be the only one of course Pero ganito kasi yan Mahirap na yung engineering face to face Ngayon ginawa natin online class Mas mahirap siya And ang nakaka-stress doon is like, I feel like I'm just the only dumb one or the, ako rin bobo. Alam mo yun? Kasi baka nagigets ng mga classmates ko tapos ako yung hindi. Alam mo yun? Kasi at least pag personal, pag face to face, alam mo na hindi din na nila nagigets. Alam mo yun? It gives you somehow the comfort na, ah, mahirap lang siguro yung topic. Hours later. You cannot just survive engineering alone. Kasi mahirap siya. And it's always good to have someone who got your back. Ayun guys, medyo seryoso lang. Hindi ko din actually mabilang kung ilang beses ko nang tinanong yung sarili ko kung kung bakit ako nag-engineering, kung bakit kung bakit nandito pa ako sa course na to hanggang ngayon. And I'm I know hindi lang ako yon. I think a lot of engineering student already asked their, that question to themselves a million times kasi may mga time talaga na hey, la ay hirap like you don't have any idea kung bakit nandito ka pa, kung bakit, kung tanga pa ba yung decision mo sa buhay na nag-engineering ka. Kasi may mga times talaga na, ah, zero ka sa exam, nag-aral ka naman. Sipin mo yun, nag-aral ka simula 12 a.m. hanggang 7 a.m. Pumasok ka ng school, tapos pagdating ng school, di mo na naman masasolve yung problem. And it's frustrating at some point na Oh, am I not good enough to do this? Am I not good enough to to be an engineer? Ganon. Pero, alam mo, napapansin kayo sa mga batchmates ko. Actually, sa akin din. Ang dami namin rants. Ang dami rants ng call sa subject. Ang dami rants ng call sa engineering. Kung kaya pa ba namin. But at the end of the day, kinakaya pa namin. Wow, very inspiring. But no, it's really exhausting. Hindi ko mabibigyan ng justice na boy, salita ako dito kung gano'ng kahirap yung ginagawa or gaano kami nahihirapan so I really admire yung, I have lots of respect sa mga engineer na kasi pag umagsa ka oh, wala kang magagawa you take another you take that course again kasi wala ka naman choice if you really want that ENG part to your, before your name you gotta work your ass off okay manilate na ako sa exam guys see you there hours later Hi, hi guys, so I just finished my exam on theory of structure and yes, at least it's done and nakasagot tayo. Yes, nakasagot tayo. Anyway, so let's proceed to answering some questions on it. So I'll be reading PJ's questions. Hi PJ, ano ang pinakamiss mong ganap or school ganap pre-COVID? Siguro pinakamiss ko yung ano. Yung unwinding with friends, tapos syempre after, like ngayon, after, usually after exam, we usually go out, drink, or like treat ourselves kasi tapos sa exam and we nakasagot kami, ganun. Siguro yung pinaka na-miss ko, plus the org works, like nami-miss ko magpagabi sa seng to do pie stops, like my event, ganun. Nakaka-miss yun. Hey guys, it's already 7.03 in the evening and we're back to my room and... Ayun, so, bigyan ko lang kayo ng idea ko na yung mga gagawin ko ngayon because this video will be too long. So, yung mga gagawin ko ngayon is that as an engineering student, nag-download, magda-download ako ng mga modules because we'll still have midterms exam next week. Plus, gagawin ko yung mga to ko. I still got, um, meron pa akong gagawin sa environmental science and meron pa akong gagawin sa engineering ethics. So, yes, that's pretty much it. Pag engineering student ka, medyo whole day ka lang na nag-aaral. Pero dapat di ganun. I mean, you, you still give yourself a break. You deserve it. Alam mo yun, like, you still do your ACADS but don't lose your life. Your ACADS is not your whole life. So, ayun. So, I'll probably end this video this way because I still gotta do that stuff and probably edit this video. Once again, this is your boy, Engineer LN2K Long Talk number 1. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and of course click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga uploads ko and maybe you can drop some suggestion for new contents. See you, engineer.